over are driving, drinking and smoking. And we basically wanted to get a handle on how much tax one person would pay in a year if they drank a pint, of day, a pint a day every week for a year, if they smoked a pack of 20 a day for a year, and also if they drove 10,000 miles in a year in a, a kind of typical family car like a Ford Focus. Um, and the driving tax is just uh, based on a fuel duty, so it doesn't take into account other um, car charges like uh, vehicle excise duty. And so basically what we did is we got the yearly uh, tax for each of these uh, individual items and then uh, compounded them um, into how much an individual would uh, pay in the year. And then we also adjusted for uh, inflation using the CPI. So all of these prices are based on 2005 figures. And so basically, overall, we found that from April 1999 to January 2011, the total that an individual would pay uh, if they did all these things um, has risen from £1,083 to £1,225, so an increase of about £200. Um, and then if we look at the individual uh, components, we found that the tax on a pint of beer has risen £40 in this period. Um, taxing, uh, tax on driving on fuel duty has interestingly uh, stayed the same, it stayed at a constant um, oh, sorry, £332. This is basically because uh, in 2000 there were the fuel protests as uh, the Labour government tried to um, put, uh, uh, put fuel duty up and uh, there was a huge backlash from the public and they had to uh, keep it constant for a period of time. But now we're seeing it's going back up at a, at a rate that it was before. Um, and the burden on smokers is actually the greatest tax um, and it has increased the most out of this time. Uh, it's increased by uh, £100, so if you smoke, smoke a packet of 20 cigarettes a day, you, you'd pay um, £100 in tax per year. And uh, this graph is just a scale, it stops at 400 but if it went down to zero, you'd see this whole, whole um, uh, area would be for smoking. And um, of course, this, this, these taxes are hugely regre regressive uh, because the poor spend... Uh, a higher percentage on, on their income on these on these three things. <laughs> okay, and so we also looked at a further um, vehicle excise duty, and we found overall that um, vehicle excise duty has continued to go up. We've got from 2007 to 2010 to 11. And also we found that the lower, lower end, the cars that um, emit less grams of CO2 per kilometre, uh, kilometer, haven't been rewarded under the scheme. So basically they haven't seen any reduction in their VAD, uh, um, vehicle excise duty rates. So what we've done here is we've plotted some typical family cars on this graph, just to show you um, how much um, <coughs> that family would pay um, for, for in vehicle excise duty. So if we take a Ford Focus 1.4 petrol, and um, this car emits about 155 grams of CO2 per kilometre. Um, in this, under new rates, people who own a Ford Focus will pay £155 in VAD. Um, this is up from £140 in 2007, so it's about £15 increase. Um, now that increase is even more severe for a Vauxhall Sephira, which would pay £300 in VAD in 2007 and 2008, and it's now paying £425 in VAD. So that's a big rise of £125. Now the Vauxhall, I guess the Vauxhall Sephira is a bigger car, so some may say, well, they should pay pay more in in uh, VAD rates. But the Vauxhall Sephira emits that. Um, it's not, it, it doesn't emit that much more than a Ford Focus, it's just over 200 grams of CO2 a day and I think we have to remember that these types of cars are very functional for, for families, people who maybe have a few more kids, need to take them on holiday, need to take them for the school run every day. Um, but finally the cars that are hit very hard by uh, the new VAT uh, rates are those cars manufactured in Britain, so Jaguars and Land Rovers. And uh, if we take an example, the Jaguar XF, um, if you have a Jaguar XF, you'll have to pay £425 in VAT. Um, but also, if you're um, going to buy that car this year, with the new showroom tax, you'll have to pay £750 in VAT. Now, Land Rover Fair 
even worse because if you look at a Range Rover 4.4 petrol, that's going to pay 435 pounds in VAD, in VAD this year. And uh, for those of you who are brave enough to purchase the Range Rover this year, uh, you'll have to pay a whopping 950 pounds in VAD. So these tax hikes are going to be probably going to be hugely <coughs> detrimental to what's left to the British car industry, and they've come from a government who claims that they are huge champions of British manufacturing. Thank you.